Hello and welcome back. I'm really excited today to talk a bit more about skincare but really zero in on one brand. I wanted to talk today about The Ordinary. It's changed the way that I feel in my skin. And the best part is all of their products that I use I believe are under $15. So so I've packaged up in here all of my products from The Ordinary and I'm just gonna pull out everything that I use from this brand, what works for my skin, um, which is just, which is very sensitive and definitely on the drier side. I can't even hold like this entire collection in my hands. My entire like bathroom counter is just all of these bottles. It really does make up the bulk of my skincare routine. And I kind of dig that it looks like a little science lab. Before we get started, if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead, click the button below, turn on your notifications. I put out a new video every Wednesday. Would love to see you there next week. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I'll talk about some of the products that I've tried but don't absolutely love uh, and let you know which ones you may not need in your collection. The first things I'm gonna talk about are moisturizers. Hydration is really my number, of, aside from cleaning my skin, hydration is my number one priority. And so I have three moisturizing products from The Ordinary and I usually use two every day. So the first product I have is the Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. And this here is in the 60 milliliter bottle. You'll see later I'll talk about some of their products that come in 30 milliliter. They actually recently, when I first started using them, only had the 30 milliliter bottles for a lot of their products. And they've started releasing the 60 milliliter for some of their more popular products, which um, I'm definitely obsessed with. It means I don't have to order as frequently. Um, so hyaluronic acid is a surface hydrator or these molecules are actually a bit too large to go really deep into the skin and so what it does is it actually because the molecule attracts up to a thousand times its own weight in water um, it brings all the moisture in your skin to the surface to give your skin that soft supple texture which means that this is a product I use in the morning on after washing my face after using um, the plant derived squid squalene uh, then put this on and then put a moisturizer on so they have three different weights of the hyaluronic acid in here um, they have vitamin b5 which helps support hydration as well and this is a 100 pure vegan formula okay so the next hydrator that i use from the ordinary is the the 100 plant derived squalene Squalin, I don't know if I'm saying this correctly. I use this one twice a day in the morning and at night. Um, sometimes in the summer, I'll actually only use this one at night. Unfortunately, it's not available in the 60 milliliter yet, um, but this is the primary ingredient in their hydrating regimen. It's 100% plant derived. It is also vegan, oil free. Um, it's free of a lot of things as well, like silicone, alcohol, and oil. So. Um, it's one thing I love about this brand. It really is just the pure ingredients that you're getting and for sensitive skin, um, it's, it's the best. So you'll see that some of their bottles, um, like I said, are white. Some are like darker. I was actually kind of wondering about this, um, but the darker ones are UV protection bottles. That way, if you are storing this in a bathroom that gets some light, it's not gonna actually damage or ruin the product that's inside. The last hydrating product that I used from them, this was one of the first things I tried as well, and this is Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA. This is like their cream moisturizer. Comes out, it's like a little pastier, but it's just this white moisturizer. Uh, this is also one of the products that they now release in a larger bottle. It used to come in a bottle uh, or a tube about half this size. And when I first tried it, it was nice. It was nothing too special. Like I said, I have pretty dry skin. So I like heavy duty moisturizers. Basically my skin kind of like drinks up moisturizers and cream moisturizers really fast. So even like five minutes after putting it on, it will feel like there's no moisturizer on there with most products. Um, I would say it's the same for this bottle. Um, but now that I do have the larger bottle, this is not an expensive, Product. I like using this in addition to other moisturizers. 
So I don't typically use this one when I am doing my normal skincare routine, but throughout the day, if I'm at home, if I'm not wearing makeup, then I will throw this one on. But yeah, it kind of it has a weird place in my skincare routine. It, it kind of just fills some gaps here and there. Um, but I do really love the packaging here. This is one that anytime we're traveling, I actually bring this a lot because my boyfriend does not bring moisturizer and he always ends up asking me for some and I feel like this is probably a little bit more male friendly um, than my Pacifica and pink and cute ones. The next kind of category, uh, I would say maybe things that affect the look of your skin. So the first thing I use is the 100% cold pressed organic rose hip seed oil. This is an oil that actually, if it's processed with heat, can lose some of its effects. So that's why they have the cold pressed rose hip seed oil. It has a little bit of almost an herbal scent to it. It's not an added scent, so the scent shouldn't irritate your skin, but if you don't like the smell of things or um, kind of earthy herbal scents, you may not love this on your skin. Any rose hip seed oil that is unscented has probably been too far refined to actually give you much of a good effect on your skin. What this does for your skin is it helps remove scars, hyperpigmentation, and fine lines. This is something to be used once a day and typically at night. Okay, um, I apologize for this next one. The bottle uh, spilled on itself a long time ago, so it's just not looking cute. Um, but the next thing that I use is the Grenactive Retinoid Retinol in Squalane. Retinol in general is kind of the reigning anti-aging ingredient out on the market right now, but it can have irritating effects on sensitive skin. So the Grenactive retinoid that's used in the ordinary has actually been shown to have more anti-aging benefits and less irritation than a lot of the retinol products. This is something I don't use every day. I'll use maybe, I would say two to three times per week. Retinoids can make UV um, protections less effective. So this one I use once a day at night and it's usually the last thing that I put on before my heavier cream based moisturizers. Okay, so the next product is one of my favorites and I think this is the reason I first or I tried this brand in the first place. Um, I was, still am, obsessed with the Wayne Goss YouTube channel and I believe it was him that talked about um, this super cheap under eye serum, really. So this is caffeine solution, 5%. This is used to um, get rid of puffiness or dark circles under the eyes. I don't typically have um, a problem with dark under eye circles, but when I do wake up in the morning, they are a little bit puffier. So I actually only use this one in the morning. And this is the only one that has a black dropper. So it's actually, they've just redone this. It used to have the same dropper as the other ones. And first of all, I love that it's a separate color because sometimes I'll put this on later before my makeup. And they have actually changed the dropper. So if you can see here, this one actually tapers a little bit more, which has made it easier to use the right amount of this product. I kid you not, this lasts forever. For people that don't have sensitive skin and might not need to use the ordinary for all of their ingredients, I would absolutely try this one. It is just under $7 on their website. I cannot say how confused I am by like hundred dollar under eye cream. It just seems like so ridiculously expensive or something that just like only takes care of one part of your face. So if, like I said, you don't want to use a full skincare regimen of the ordinary, I would definitely try the caffeine uh, solution for the under eyes. It's a really high concentration solution. It's super effective. The last one that I want to talk about is the 100% L-ascorbic ascorbic acid powder. And this is like their vitamin C powder product. This brightens up the skin, helps with discoloration, and bites 
signs of aging. I was actually turned on to this by my boyfriend's mom, so shout out to my boyfriend's mom because she had ordered a bunch of things from The Ordinary and I think was like, ordered an extra one of these. And I've always with sensitive skin, to be honest, been very nervous about trying vitamin C and I am obsessed with this. Of all the products that I have used from this brand, this is the one that has most, I think, visibly changed the appearance of my skin since I started using it. It has a lot of the same properties as the rose hip seed oil, so if you only want to use one of them, you can definitely get away with that. Um, and I would say that I prefer this one over the rose hip seed oil. But if you can see inside, it's just this white powder, and it has this little clear spoon in here. So the way that you use this is you get like a spoonful of the powder and you can mix it in with almost any one of these other hydrators or oils, anything except for niacinamide and the retinoids. My favorite one to use with this is the 100% plant-derived squalene, which is why I wish that they put this um, in a 60 milliliter bottle. It's definitely just made my skin look brighter, healthier, and I feel so much better not wearing makeup. You know, I mentioned these in a couple other videos, but I'll go through them briefly. I have in the 60 milliliter bottle, niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. So niacinamide is vitamin B3. It is a really great, gentle, blemish-fighting formula, and I really like this one, um, probably more so for like blackheads, clogged pores. I switch this in when I feel like I need it, and I'll use it in certain areas, um, usually where my skin gets a little more oily. The other one that I use for more aggressive blemish treatment and uh, especially when it's gone from clogged pores to actual acne or pimples it is the salicylic acid 2%. Um, so this one is really my spot treatment go-to. The salicylic acid, it's empty now. Um, it's not something I use as frequently as the niacinamide because this is a direct acid. So the direct acid is going to work faster on your skin, but it can cause more irritation, redness, and other issues. Um, so it's not something I would use long term. This is like, you know, if you're calling in for backup, this is that product. If it's smaller general breakouts or blackheads, I go with the niacinamide. Um, and they also recommend more of the indirect treatments and acids for longer term or regular use just because it's not going to have any irritating effects on the skin. So those are all of the products from The Ordinary that I have tried and use um, their entire philosophy is not charging you extra for ingredient, ingredients that they consider to be commodities. And there are a lot of products out there that list these ingredients to make it seem like it's a rare ingredient and you should pay more for it. Um, but with The Ordinary, you actually see that you know, you don't have to pay extra for it. And like shit, I love the font, I love the design. It's just so minimal. Of this entire regimen, there are three that um, are not necessarily my favorites. I do like them, but I don't love them as much as the others. And I could probably go without them. So that's gonna be the moisturizing factors in the middle, the salicylic acid over here, and then the rose hip seed oil. I will say I know, I have some friends and male friends who love the rose hip seed. I don't mean to hate on it, I just love the vitamin C powder a lot more. Another really important thing to mention is that even these larger bottles are only, let's see, two fluid ounces. So that means you can travel not just with these ones, but you can travel with the big boys as well. Okay, so um, that is it for this video. Um, I'm just like really happy after going through this collection. It, I forget how much it's changed the way I feel about my skin because I've, I've been more confident in my skin for so long after using these now um, that I forgot that before it, I was nervous to try every new product. Um, and I always felt like I needed to have a concealer or have um, a, my foundation or tinted moisturizer on. I cannot say enough good things about this brand. Let me know if you've tried it, how you like it, what products you like there. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.